Hi, I'm Marquez Brownlee, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. Is Marquez Brownlee okay? I think so. What do they know that I don't know? Why Marquez Brownlee? Why is Marquez Brownlee called MKBHD? Actually, when I got here to the lobby of the building, the security guard was like, can I ask you something? I was like, yeah. He was like, you're MKQBH. And I was like, yeah, close enough. I, I just, I made it to be shorter and easier to remember than my name. MKB is my initials. HD is high definition. It'll always be HD. I'm not changing it to 8K or anything crazy. HD includes 8K, so. That's why it's MKBHD. So why is Marquez Brownlee so popular? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's a, a little bit of skill and a little bit of luck combining with opportunity. I started making videos a very long time ago and it sort of had the uh, opportunity to build up since then. So it didn't just become popular, it didn't explode onto the scene, but when you make 1500 videos eventually, People see some of it, I guess. Why does Marquez Brownlee review retro tech? I was born in 1993. It's, it's sort of right in this Goldilocks zone where my parents didn't really get us video game consoles or anything like that. A lot of the, the retro tech right around when I was growing up is lost on me. Like I never owned a Game Boy or a Sega Genesis or any of these like early things. So it was cool to go back for this YouTube original show that I did called Retro Tech and learn about that stuff for the first time. So last but not least, why is Marquez Brownlee at the Met Gala? <laughs> That's a great question. Are people really Googling that? That's a, pretty hilarious. Um, I was invited to the Met Gala in 2022. I actually don't know the answer to that question, <laughs> but I was at the Met Gala. I didn't know what to expect going in. Like I'd seen the red carpet and then I know that everyone got off the red carpet and went into some place. And I was like, oh, what's the place? But you really, you just go into the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's a it's an event that raises money for the, for the museum and you get to meet some cool people, eat some good food and hang out for a little while before you go home and wonder if any of it was real. All right, how Marquez Brownlee. How does Marquez Brownlee pick thumbnails? Ooh, that's a good question because it changed recently. I used to be, for the first 10 or 11 years, the person who poured all the time and effort into the YouTube video, and then, as it was uploading, I went, oh, I need a thumbnail and a title, and I'd come up with it in the last minute. That's actually flipped in the past year or two. I've realized the only way anyone ever finds what you made is if you package it well. So we start videos now with a title and thumbnail in mind as we go to create them. All right, how does Marquez Brownlee scale his brand. Tech is cool. I've been making a lot of videos on a relatively narrow window of tech being like, we've seen smartphones rise up and now they're everywhere. But I have interests all over the tech world, electric cars, headphones, computers, TVs. So scale of the brand really just comes with being able to talk about and speak to more things and maybe going to the Met Gala. How did Marquez Brownlee interview Elon Musk? I tweeted at him, said, hey, do you wanna jump on an interview? And he was like, yeah. It was cool to just see somebody um, in that position actually know the nuts and bolts of what's going on. We did this in the factory. Uh, he gave me a tour of the factory afterwards, but like he's pointing at different machines, telling me exactly what they do. I'm sure there are other business leaders who could walk through factories and tell me what they do, but that part of it was fun. Even before we re recorded anything, He's like looking at the camera rig we're using, just asking questions about the gimbal and like, so what is this for? What does this do? Uh, so a nerd from the opening minutes of our conversation. <laughs> how does Marquez Brownlee go viral? Don't Google that. Google how, do, how does anyone go viral? That's the golden, the golden question. I found that the videos that I make that go the most viral are actually pretty predictable because they're about devices that I know people care about. When the new iPhone gets announced by Apple and then they bring us all into that room and they let us shoot hands on with it. When I upload that video, I know it's gonna do better than this other thing I'm working on about this obscure drone that nobody's heard about. All right, this one is, is Marquez Brownlee. So is Marquez Brownlee good at ultimate Frisbee? Well, I play. Um, and I've been lucky enough to play in the New York area, which has some of the best teams in the world. So the fact that I'm on the team, you know, I 
feel like that's a pretty good indicator. I'm a decent player. I'm not the best player, though, that's for sure. Ultimate Frisbee low-key is one of the most highlight-friendly sports you will ever see. Uh, it's a pretty young sport, but literally average catches in the Ultimate world make ESPN top 10 when the footage is good enough. So if you ever get to go to an Ultimate game, you'll see. It's amazing. But, you know, the disc flies. You've seen people throw a disc before, but it floats just a little bit. And some of the most improbable catches are kind of routine for the best players in the world. So just go watch some. All right. Is Marquez Brownlee okay? There's no more. <laughs> is he okay? I think so. What do they know that I don't know? Are Marquez Brownlee's videos getting longer? Actually, yeah, that's a really interesting observation. A long video for me used to be six, seven minutes. Now, uh, I just made a video that was about eight minutes long, and we were all like, that was a really short video. It could have been 18, 20 minutes long. Uh, is Marquez Brownlee going to space? No, I don't think so. I mean, I would like to. That's one of those like bucket list things. I have a bunch of weird bucket list things I want to do. I want to see a bunch of natural phenomena. I've never seen a tornado, but I also want to go to space. That'd be cool. What Marquez Brownlee? So, what phone does Marquez Brownlee use? So this is going to be different when I'm testing a different phone. At the moment, it's a Galaxy S21 Ultra and an iPhone 13 Pro. And I do have personal preferences, so when I'm done testing a phone, I'll go back to a phone that I liked more. So in between phones, I'm using the S21 Ultra more, but I'm testing another phone next week and then whatever phone comes out after that. So this is a different answer every time. What new tech Marquez Brownlee is excited about? I feel like the obvious future answer is AR, VR, but also electric cars for me. I'm really excited about them and interested in them. We've had some AR, VR stuff that's like trickled a little bit in the past couple of years, but whenever you get a new device and a new piece of hardware to look at, that's when it gets interesting. And I think we're about to start seeing some more of that. What is Marquez Brownlee's Least favorite tech. It's funny. I'm a pr I'm a, I'm I'm an optimist about a lot of this stuff, so I don't know if I have a a least favorite. You know, it's funny about bad tech. Sometimes tech is just ahead of its time. Like there's the Google Glasses of the world, where like 10 years ago, a camera on your face was a terrible idea, and everybody ended up hating it. But now we're around the corner from. Aren't there Snapchat glasses and like Ray Bans with cameras on them? And like we're all totally okay with that suddenly. So, you know, just ahead of its time. All right, what does Marquez Brownlee get wrong? Nothing, except for the one time I thought it had three gigs of RAM instead of eight or something, probably. What is Marquez Brownlee's plan? Well, I've sort of said it before, but uh, I make tech videos, so my plan is to keep making them and hopefully make more and better. All right, who is Marquez Brownlee's rival? That would be Linus Sebastian. <laughs> Just no, we're I you know lots of people make tech videos, uh, lots of fellow tech YouTubers that we're actually all pretty good friends. But for the sake of the memes, let's just say Linus. Who was Marquez Brownlee's first subscriber? I feel like I would have to Google that to find out. I might be able to find out. You know, it's funny. I used to have email notifications on for every activity on my channel, including every new subscriber. I turned those off after I started getting crazy, but I actually, I don't know. Who did Marquez Brownlee first interview? Technically, my first ever interview was with Dennis Woodside when he was the CEO of Motorola. But my first ever in-person interview as a basically a child was Kobe Bryant. So that was a welcome to the welcome to the big leagues moment for me, which was a, I'm not a good interviewer clearly, but that was a great way of getting me used to the idea. He's really good at getting interviewed. Who are Marquez Brownlee's favorite YouTubers? I watch a good variety of YouTube, a lot of educational channels, the CGP Greys of the world, a lot of entertainment channels, the Mr. Beasts of the world, a lot of tech channels like Linus. So yeah, it was a, it was a healthy variety. All right, does Marquez Brownlee, does Marquez Brownlee like Android or iOS? Better. Personally, I have two phones, right? I carry this Android phone in my right pocket, and I carry the iPhone in my left pocket. And my main SIM card with the phone number that I use the most 
is in the Android phone. But I have the iPhone because there's so many things, I have to be familiar with both worlds, but there's so many things that are just a little bit better on the iPhone. I have family group chats and FaceTimes and all that, but there's also camera stuff. There's some apps that are iPhone only. My phone key is on my iPhone. So it's, I'm, I split my time, like for real, but I, I do prefer, if I could only use one, I would just have the Android phone. Does Marquez Brownlee review AI? Uh, yeah, actually I, I did recently. You might've heard about Dolly. Dolly is a AI art generator that can take any text input that you give it. You just say giraffe riding a skateboard and it will take that and turn it into photorealistic high resolution imagery in whatever style you want. And it looks real. It's kind of incredible. I am both optimistic and fearful of what AI is capable of. You know, now I, I can compare the art that the AI makes to the art that our graphic designer in the studio makes. And the graphic designer in the studio is better, but we literally did a video comparing them and he would he would take, you know, six hours to make an image and Dolly would take 10 seconds to make an almost as good image. And that is both amazing and horrifying. So he might be fired in a year. <laughs> I don't think he's fired at any point, but there is something to uh, this AI quick generation thing. Does Marquez Brownlee, what do I do? Use a RED camera. Pretty often, yes. So they make some incredible cameras. I started using them actually a really long time ago. When I was in college, I was super locked in on Canon C100, 1080p all day, love that thing. And then I was like, you know what? I should try 4K. And I rented a RED Scarlet W and never looked back. I feel like the production value has actually been growing constantly since the beginning. Even though we've used RED cameras for years, we do new camera moves, we shoot in new places. We have a robot now. If you've ever seen one of those robot arms that like puts the door on the side of the car, imagine that, but with a camera attached to the side of it and then a PS5 controller and then software to keyframe and just move the camera around. It's crazy. So we, we have some fun with the camera stuff now. Does Marquez Brownlee have a masterclass? I actually do, yes. Uh, I did a masterclass on making videos for the internet. You can take a camera and a tripod and a light and make something amazing and put it on the internet and uh, accomplish your goals. Maybe you wanna share something. Does Marquez Brownlee go clubbing? Uh, no, no, not really. I found it kind of a waste of time. I think outside of uh, the normal Android, iOS, AI, RED cameras stuff, I, uh, I play golf and uh, I, play, I play video games. That's, that's maybe my biggest time waster at this point. Those are some good questions. Some of them were a little bit out of left field, but I like that. Uh, I feel like just keep mixing up what you guys Google because maybe I come back and there's some crazy other questions that I get to answer. But until then, I'm okay, if you're wondering, I'm okay.